you're gonna look bad. It's fine. <laughs> Can you like sit your chair up more or whatever, just so you look taller? Oh wow. Well, Thanks, I mean, man. in the shot. <laughs> I know. I in the shot. Point. I get it. Well, that was a movie. Hello and welcome back to Simon's Rants. I'm Simon, this is Dan, and today we just saw The Northman, which is the new A24 film directed by Robert Eggers and starring Alexander Skarsgård of the most talented acting family of all time, probably. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, it felt the least A24 of Eggers' movies to me. I actually had to double check because I thought for a second like he had a different cinematographer than normal, mm -hmm. but it was the same guy, so... I guess he's just going in a slightly different direction than he normally does. Like, it's also not horror, like his last two films. So it's a slightly different feel, but it was still very obviously Robert Eggers, which, I mean, he's been single-handedly, like, breathing life into horror the past few years. So I like him. This might have been my least favorite movie by him. Oh, okay. So, we, obviously, we don't talk until we turn on the camera, so I'm curious what your opinion is. I actually really liked it. It's the least uncomfortable of Robert Eggers movies yes. that ever made me feel, which yeah. was welcome. I, and I think part of it has to do with, we saw this in daytime, I'm not really trying to have Robert Eggers in my head for the rest of the day, so. Right. They get is probably the most straightforward right. uh, and easy to follow. Least psychological. Uh-huh. Yeah. Of his movies. And there are some like supernatural aspects to it. Um, We're going to have to have the door open. I can't. Yeah, this, it, it is toasty in here. <laughs> Sorry but. about the sound. If there was a guy leaf blowing, um, we can't. It's hot. <laughs> oh, I already just got like 10 degrees cooler. Yeah. Um, this is definitely a, a, a palatable a24 movie and and, right. and if you you're familiar with a24 and we've we last time I was on we talked about green Knight. green Knight, which was very a24 yeah it was it's not green Knight. <laughs> no this was the most normal feeling of his movies which to me is why I liked it the least of his movies okay um because well, I don't know if he defined a24 style or if he was defined by their style the witch was the first a24 movie I think I saw mm -hmm. so his style in A24 to me was synonymous yeah. at first. And he has now seemingly started to branch out from that style, whereas A24's kind of stayed where they were. So I don't know if that's him getting more creative control or if he's just like, I'm, that's not who I am or what it is. But this, like I said, it felt the most different. It's not in and of itself a bad thing, but it's what I've come to expect from him and wanted, I guess. Yeah. I mean, there were still the, the shots, like the opening shot of the movie on the crow and then quickly goes over to the boat. That still felt very Robert mm -hmm. Eggers. But there was a lot in it where it didn't feel as much like him as I was used to, or I guess as much as A24, because I guess that's not who he is necessarily. Yeah. Um, I, I, I was gonna, I was gonna rip the band-aid off. I saw the witch. And you're gonna, you're gonna have feel some type of way about this. <laughs> I didn't love it. Okay. Um, I it's one of those movies that like I know this is good. Right. But I don't. It's not for me. Right. Which is kind of how I feel about this, because so I I've gone on record before saying I don't care for revenge movies. Mm -hmm. Like I saw Taken and now I'm good. I don't need any more. <laughs> yeah. Because like even when um. <laughs> The Leo one came out. Uh, what was that called? Um, uh, Revenant. Revenant. I can watch that and go, this is a fantastic movie. Yeah. I have no desire to ever see it again. Yeah. And that's kind of how I feel about this was I was watching going like, he's a masterful director. This writing is fun. Ooh, the imagery is cool. The acting for the most part is good. I'm not a big fan of Nicole Kidman, but like overall the acting was good. Mm -hmm. Even she had a couple moments where it's like, oh look, that was good. Yeah. Um, that one's gonna sound terrible on the camera. Yeah. And so it was one of those movies that I was just like, this was made by somebody who knows what they're doing. It's a good movie. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't move the needle that much for me personally, though. So kind of how you felt about The Witch, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, I, I wouldn't even say it moved the needle for me. I I, I just think it, it entertained me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not the, I mean, it's, it's also hard because like full disclosure, I just watched everything everywhere all at once, like yeah, a couple of days ago. A life changing so. movie. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I mean, it's unfair that I'm watching that movie, watching this in the shadow of that movie. Yeah. So, I mean, this I'm I'm going to be thinking much less about this movie than I am about everything everywhere, all at yeah. once. Yeah. It's not a movie that's like, and even just objectively by itself, not thinking about that movie because don't compare it to yeah. anything else. Of course. 
this movie didn't do anything for the most part. It did a couple of moments, but for the most part, I'm not going to have any thoughts about this because the basic <laughs> premise is he wants to kill the guy that killed his dad. And it's like, okay, I've seen this before. Now there are elements in there. Like, I mean, there's some cool, creepy elements in there. It's still Robert Eggers. You still got Willem Dafoe talking and creepy. <laughs> the hello puppy line really got me. Yeah. I love that. Um, but for the most part, <laughs> It's not something altogether that memorable, which, like uh, we both said, it was. It's obviously well made. It's a very well made movie, so I can't say it's bad. Like it's not, but I just, to me, it was hard to care. Yeah, I think this movie did, like a really. It, it was a good execution of what it was supposed to be. Yes. So I feel like if if you're into this kind of movie, which I I'm not I wouldn't say I'm into it, but I I, I can watch these movies and 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 be entertained by them. Right. Um, like I'm not mad at all. I watched it the first time. Yeah. I just have no real plans to return to it. Yeah, and I and I like that you brought up that Rev Revenant as a comparison because it actually does remind me a lot of Revenant. It's right. extremely violent. So if you have a stomach for that kind of thing, and this is a movie for you. Am I wrong in saying though that this felt the least like an A24 film? No, you're not. It, it didn't feel like it. This film. this felt like like if you gave Beowulf to a good director. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> his Much name was even CGI. really close. It was like, yeah. well, not his name, but like his title, because they were like, what was it? It was like Wolf Son or something. Some, like yeah, Wolf. It's uh, something, something to do with a wolf. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, his actual name though was like Omelet, which <laughs> yeah, it was Amleth, derivative. But <laughs> Amleth, but it, when it was first said by Ethan Hawke, it really sounded like he was like, "My son, Omelet." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <What? laughs> but uh, yeah, this definitely does not feel like an A twenty four movie. No. Um, but it was fine. Didn't feel bad. The CGI scenes, something that always came, like like struck me whenever you'd see CGI in this movie was. Uh, it reminded me of like a Versace cologne commercial, <laughs> um, and if and if you know what I'm talking about, you you'll you'll see it yeah. in the movie. Um, also, so just very like grand and epic for like the sake of being grand and epic. They're also like the way they were showing it off. Like the one character's nose gets cut off. Yeah. And then when this character comes back and we see him again, he's wearing a helmet, so you can't see the nose, but you can, or the lack thereof. And then he takes it off and like, oh, I don't have. And like, yeah, we saw. We know. <laughs> like, we saw that. <laughs> yeah. All we needed was like a silhouette shot. We, yeah. didn't, we didn't need him to like take his helmet take off. Take the helmet off and flow the hair. <laughs> yeah. Like, Look, it's me. It's like, yeah. It's obviously it. you. We get it. We got that part. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and then another thing that's carried over from The Lighthouse. Well, I should back up. The Witch, to me, I loved it because of the tone, the style, the self-seriousness of it. It was a very serious horror movie, which is why I adore it so much, is because horror for so long was so goofy, mm -hmm. and that was one of the first movies I saw that was like, we're a serious horror movie. I know that's now the norm again, which is good, but it was... Because so of actors. And, <laughs> yeah, and also uh, Ari Aster and stuff, yep. uh, and people like that. Both brilliant, by the way. Um, then The Lighthouse... One of the most beautiful artistic movies I've ever seen in my life, but there was a million fart jokes in that movie, in case you didn't know. <laughs> I actually haven't seen it. I and, wanted to see it. But. And in this movie, a couple scenes in, you got the burp and the fart. And I was like, shit, dude, we're doing this again? And I was like, it was such like a tone breaker for yeah. me that I never got fully back in. Because, first of all, Ethan Hawke's burp was obviously, like, added in post. He yeah. just opened his mouth, and then they did that. Yep. And I was like, oh, my God, we're doing this? And then the kid farts. And I was like, oh, my God, I can't. Eggers, <laughs> you were such a, a brilliant thing. mind. He's got a thing for farts and burps, man. That's funny. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> it's so bad. I didn't bother me. I mean, but also... It, I haven't seen Lighthouse, so yeah, I, I so wasn't it's not watching. A trend yet yeah, for I wasn't you. watching for it. Um, yeah, I was just like, please, God, no, not again. <laughs> Luckily, that was the only time there wasn't like any more farts during like a fight scene or something. That would have been painful, but uh, yeah. So I mean, I think we're being really harsh on it. I do want to say it was a well-made hey, movie. You're being harsh on it, man. I liked it. Yeah, I mean, I liked it. It was it was well made. Yeah, it was a very well-made movie. Robert Eggers is still a great director. I think the lack of artistic 
shots and stuff, and I don't want to say it lacked. It's just like when you compare this to his other movies, because it's mm-hmm. still artistically shot. But like I said, The Lighthouse was one of the most, one of the most profound cinema experiences I've ever had as far as cinematography. Like, mm-hmm. it was brilliant to look at. Every shot yeah. was a painting. And then this movie is like, yeah, it looked nice. Yeah. And so it's it's hard to compare it to his previous work and come away happy and satisfied. And that's why, to me, I'm like... <sighs> I know I just said I was going to start saying nice things. I'll get there in a second. But it's like... So The Lighthouse was the most brilliant movie I've ever seen. Not literally, but close from a cinematography standpoint, and this can't live up to that. The story of which was something I absolutely adored and tone, and this didn't have a story or tone that I liked nearly as much. So it's like, okay. to me, that's why this is my least favorite well, it's movie. Well, it's, it's a very story-driven movie. Right. And if you don't like the story, you're not going to like you're the You're not going to like it as much, yeah. Um, but that all being said, like you said, if you are into this kind of story, you will adore it because it's a very good version of that mm-hmm. story. And like I said, the acting is really good. Ethan Hawke isn't in it very long because he gets killed, yeah. but he was, I like Which you all know if you've seen, if you've seen the trailer. If, the trailer. if you haven't, then get out of here. Um, so Ethan Hawke was really good. Alexander Skarsgård, of course, was great. Like I was saying, that whole family, that whole family is like the most talented family in the business. Yeah. Like Baldwin's who? Like, no, the Skarsgårds are the best yeah. acting family maybe ever. Like, they're brilliant. And, I mean, I... I don't know much about Alexander. I'm more of like a Bill Skarsgård fan, but Alexander was fantastic. And then, like I said, even Nicole Kidman, I didn't mind her in this. Um, Willem Dafoe is doesn't have a large role, but he was brilliant in his role. There's a lot of big little lies in this. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> yeah. Nicole Kidman and Skarsgård. All around, it, it is it is a very well made movie. Like even as somebody who is not a fan of this type of plot, I was still interested, and the imagery. The fighting was fun, too. It was mm-hmm. cheesy, but it was fun. I mean, there's people walking around two feet away from lava with bare feet. Yeah. That was silly. There's a, there's there's one guy that's very clearly a better fighter than everybody. Main character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, it was very much like, uh, all right, I'm, I'm walking into a crowd with a sword. You charge now you now yeah, you it's very now, much a, like, a jedi it's against turn, the turn storm, based. stormtroopers yeah uh, it's turn based <laughs> and it's like a guy throws a spear and he, it's in the trailer a guy throws a spear he catches it turns it and throws it back and hits the guy yep and you're like i mean that was badass but it, you kind of chuckle too yeah but like it's entertaining so it's yeah he's comically better than everybody yeah so it's it's not stylistically but th- like theme wise it's kind of like 300 where mm-hmm. like you just you got the guy walking through the crowd and he's just demolishing anybody and everybody that comes across and then there's the one big giant and you're like oh no he's gonna pose a threat no no he's not yeah <laughs> so yeah um i mean i enjoyed the whole berserker vibe of the vikings um because i mean that's something that I don't feel like it's touched on in movies very often. Is no, that whole they animal were animal thing. Yeah, and they're very, they're Animalistic. very like barbaric in this yeah. movie. Like they and they show that pretty early. Um, yeah, which I was appreciative of, but it's it makes it harder to root for the good guy. Yeah, at the exactly. Same time, but I was appreciative that they should like. Yeah, Vikings were brutal. So if you like this kind of movie, even if you just like Robert Eggers and you just want to see whatever he does, check it out. It's worth it. Uh, as somebody who's not into this style of movie, like I said, I don't regret seeing it a first time. I just probably won't come back to it. But yeah, yeah, and I, I probably won't watch it again. This movie doesn't garner like rewatch. It's like I'm not just gonna throw this on when I'm doing laundry. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's not like because it's not an easy watch. Like it's not a thought, a mindless watch. Yeah. But it's not like a thought provoking no. watch either. Like like we were comparing. It's it a to, one watch. Yeah. And there's no everywhere. problem with that. Yeah. It's just, I'm not going to be pondering this. Like, not that I pondered The Witch, but I enjoyed thinking about it. Mm-hmm. And then The Lighthouse, you think about a lot because it's the imagery of that movie's wild. This isn't that same genre or same style, if you will. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I hate doing these reviews where I talk about movies that everybody loves. And I'm like, it's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, is, it, is, this, is this, like, generally... Because uh, I actually haven't really read a lot of reviews about this. Um, do, are people loving this? So far, yeah. Let's see. It's got an 82% and a 7.9. So I, I can get with that. It was higher, so it's starting to go down. Oh, okay. Well, um, yeah. You know, you know they got um, they got to juice those numbers for the for the release, and then, yeah, then, and then we'll then, get, we'll yeah. get the, the real review after a week. Do you have a number for me? 
for it, I should say. Uh, for for what it is, I, I would say like it's like seven point five out of out of ten. Okay. That's that's like just objectively like right. It, I, this is what the movie is. I I'm like like you said earlier. Like I'm not gonna watch this movie a lot. Um, right. I might not watch it ever again. But that doesn't right. mean it's not like I watched Revenant once, and right. I, as that was all I needed for it. But it was it it was a good movie. Yeah, like the Revenant. That's like an eight point five. But yeah. I just, I'm not going back to it. Yeah, exactly. This. I'm close. I would probably say a seven. I don't know if I could go to a seven and a half, but I'd give it a seven. <laughs> okay. For my personal taste, yeah. it's like a six. But yeah. But for an objective rating, I would bu- bu- bump it up a star. I think that's fair. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's what we had to think spoiler-free. We're going to get into spoilers now, though, so if you haven't seen it you don't want anything spoiled, you should go watch it, come back, and we'll talk about it then. Uh, but please remember to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye. So, spoilers. You said you wanted to talk about some spoilers. Oh, I mean, yeah. Well, first of all, like, and we just talked about how they really show how brutal Vikings are, which is awesome. And mm-hmm. and I was just like, in the, in the scene where they're <laughs> putting everybody in a house and lighting the house on fire, like... I'm like, oh, okay. So we're going here. Like, yeah. we're, we're we're gonna we're gonna do this. This is the main character. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and, we're rooting for him. Yeah, okay. and and, and I, in that moment, I'm I'm watching to see like, are they gonna show that like the He's main different? character is like, yeah, is remorseful? he different? Is he remorseful? No, no not at all. Not this at guy all. is a psycho. Yeah. Um, he bites people's throats out <laughs> on the battlefield. Yeah. And you're like, hmm. That's badass, but at the same time, I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, very much like anti-hero kind of. Like, yeah, this which guy. isn't a bad thing. Yeah, no, not at all. No. Uh, it's actually it was refreshing because I'm like, hey, we're getting a, a a Viking that isn't moral. Like his moral compass is like completely. He's not broken. Lyle the kindly Viking. He's yeah. <laughs> he's just a Viking. I'll admit, like I said, this kind of story bores me to death. Um, <laughs> but the one thing that brought me back in, even if just for a minute was the plot twist with the mom. Yeah. Uh, that was interesting to me. That I was, was like, good. oh wait, yep. cool. She's not like a good guy. The dad now is not deserve a good to guy. be saved. Nobody's a good guy in this movie. Yeah. Nobody is. It's just people killing each other. Yeah. If he hadn't killed the youngest son, the youngest son would have grown up to be him. And even the love interest isn't a good person. We have no reason to like her. Yeah. She's just there. Yeah. Blonde and pale. Yeah, she's not like a sympathetic character at all. No. She's she like you said, like she's just there. We have no real reason for the main character to even like her other than she was prophesied. Yeah. About. And but, so he's like, Okay, you're that bitch. Alright, let's go. <laughs> by the end of the movie, you're just like you, you I, I, there's no outcome that I want. No. It's you're just, just watching to see yeah, what I happens. Yeah, I want to see what, what what the idea is at this point. Yeah. And so when they both die, you're like, that's fair. Yeah. Okay. I guess we're done now. Cool. Yep. And and when he says goodbye to her on off the boat and I'm like, there's no way. There there's no way he's coming back from this. Right. Like either he's dying himself by himself or they're both dying. Right, cuz the prophecy is like you have to choose between loving your kin or getting your revenge. And he said I choose both and you're like no, you're not Spider-Man. You can't catch Mary Jane and the trolley. Like you're you you're choosing one. But uh, yeah, well, kind of. I mean, it, the the movie does heavily imply that if he doesn't kill uh, I forget his name. The the guy, the, the, guy, the bad guy, the quote unquote bad guy. Because at the end, you don't even know anymore. Yeah. By killing him, he saves his family. That's that's implied. Who knows how? Like if that's actually true. Um, but it's very implied that he believes that. So in his Good head, he he is he is Happy choosing both. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, this is a like this is a revenge movie, so he's getting revenge. Yeah, uh, and that is the driving force of of every decision he makes. Right, except so. for for that blip there when he's trying to run away, and then he's like, I can't forsake yeah, he my snapped, destiny. Yeah, he snapped right back out of that yeah. very quickly. Yeah, um, I was confused though when that started to happen. I was like, wait, we're we're doing this? We're not doing yeah, this. Yeah, I was. And then uh, we didn't do it. I'm like, okay, okay. I was thinking like, man, are they gonna put this guy like on a farm uh, on his own farm? And he's gonna get invaded by this other guy. Yeah. Again? And they, they said that you're gonna kill the guy in a lake of fire, and I'm like. The volcano's right there. We're running away from the volcano. Is that really a red herring? Like, no, the volcano's there. It's the smoking gun, right? Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> like, I was like, if that had been a red herring, I would have been like, that's a really good red herring. <laughs> I fell for it completely. Yeah. The other thing, I was shocked by, I guess I shouldn't have been, how little Willem Dafoe was in it. But he was very effective mm-hmm. in his limited role. Enjoyed him a lot. Like, like I was saying with that hello puppy line when he's yeah. dead talking. I love that. Like, 
That was really cool. He just steals it. He steals the 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 scene whenever he whenever yeah. he's on the screen. He's he's just yeah. he, he steals the show. I gotta say, there's a lot of silly decision making in this movie. So there's the sword that can't be taken out unless it's nighttime. Yeah. And so when the good guy, Skarsgård, I'll just Skarsgård, gets captured and he's strung up, and the one guy <laughs> without the nose is like. <laughs> I'll take out his sword and take it away. Oh, I can't take it out of the sheath. Leave that there. It's like, you are. Even if, like, you can't, like, the... the take it with you. Yeah. He in his head is like, oh, this sword is now useless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it couldn't have just been stuck in the sheath. And, no. like, he, like... He forgot to wash it before he put it away. And yeah. It's sticking. Like, or... But he took the belt off of it and then took the belt. Why not just take the whole thing? Well, the guy is, like... Stupid. He, he is stupid. Like, yeah. he did, like, let the... He let, let him the go. Kid go yeah. and then lied This about is all it. his fault, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> the whole movie is his fault. Yep. His death was cool, by the way. When he went through the nose. Yeah, I that was really that. cool. I enjoyed that. I, have, I haven't seen that one too many times. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know the prophecy was you're going to kill the dude in a lake of fire, but he put off killing him for so long. There was so many opportunities. Yeah, so many like, The first night he's there, he breaks out, and he's like, oh, there's a knife right there. Instead of going and grabbing it, I'm going to go over to the window and try and reach through, but I can't reach through the window. And then something's going to happen that's going to distract me, and then I'm going to turn to the camera and deliver my line. I will avenge you, father. I will save you, mother. I will kill you, Fuhrer. And then we'll cut scene. Like, yeah. the knife's still there. You could go get it and kill it. There was so many times he could have killed he, people he, and did it. He pulls the sword out when he first gets it with him right around the corner. He's literally like... The, the sword away from him. Yeah. And, and then the dog and, starts barking. He's like, at the dog. <laughs> so, it's like, this guy, like, there are, like, four guys there. And it's, like, this guy who's been killing. And they're all drunk. Yeah, killing, like, ten guys at a time all movie. Like, doesn't... Doesn't think he can take does, four unarmed drunk guys. <sighs> yeah, that's true. And then... <laughs> And then he waits for, I guess because he's waiting for him to go into the room by himself, and then he goes in the room, and then the rooster crows, so now he can't take it out. And I'm like, okay. But there were so many times when, so like, he gets these, like, these these shrooms, and he gives them to the girl, and we're like, we're going to poison them. And then every night she's like, tonight? And he's like, no. I'm like, why not? And he's like, no, we'll do that later. Why? And it's just, he keeps putting everything off, and it's like, I get it, you're following the prophecy, but, like, just kill all of them. You could have done this. It's like, I need to haunt them. Or you could not and just kill them. Yeah. He's a, he's a procrastinator. He is. He really was. <laughs> <laughs> or he's just a fiend for doing everything thematically. It's like, it's not dramatic enough this way. And, i got to build up the tension. And I wouldn't normally be mad at that if the movie didn't feel as long as it did. Oh, yeah. I was going to ask. Like, was it... Did it feel like it was four hours to you? Because it did yes. to me. Yes, it did. And, How long and, was it? And at the end, when they showed the end credits, because they showed it in, like, the, the Norse yeah. writing, and I'm like, oh, please don't let this be another part. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to see anything about yeah, his kids. I, was, I, I thank God when the, when the lights the turned lights on. Came, the lights came on before the movie was over. Like, yeah. <laughs> it was just like, yeah, get out. Yeah, <laughs> I was, I was, like, oh, I was, I was fine with it. And, and again... <laughs> I'm 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 being a little like I'm making fun of the movie a little bit. I did like the movie. It's a quality movie. Yeah. There's just a lot to poke fun at. Definitely, definitely. Um, re and these are things that that are the reason why these aren't our favorite movies. Right. Cause yeah, and I I have explained this on the channel before. It's like I approach every movie. Every criticism is taking it down from a ten. Every movie starts at a ten, and yeah. then I take away points. Yeah. And so that's why we're at a seven, seven and a half, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's because we've taken away points. Yeah, we're we're not starting at a five and then diminishing. We're yeah. we're, we're starting at perfect and then going down. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I mean, there was a lot of a lot of silly stuff there. Like also, they're they're playing this game, which honestly, the game was like more entertaining than half the plot to me. I enjoyed watching yeah. the game. But it was then, like baseball and football mixed. Or like cricket. Or, yeah, and yeah. cricket. Um, and murder. <laughs> it was like murder polo. Like, I don't know. Yeah, and then this guy, like this, the, this huge... This huge bear man. Is like... like demolishing tries, everybody. He demolishes everybody, but like... Doesn't realize that that's like... That's the point of the game? No, like the the kid. Okay, but the kid though. So the kid, he's the younger son of Fuhrer. Yeah. He runs out and all the guy does is smack him. And his head's bleeding, he's almost dead. I'm like, what happened to him? Yeah. He I don't just know. got smacked. But also like the guy doesn't 
Like, why is a guy hit like knocking down this kid? Is that, is that, he knocks him down, and then he sets up the ball and gets ready to tee off into his head. That was the part that he went too far. But before that, all he did was smack him. But yeah, he does try but, to kill him with the ball. But you know, the, the, I don't know. I the, thought this they were the actually going to kill me. the kid in that scene. And the, I was like, Whoa. He got smacked. The athlete in me is like, if I'm playing football and I see a kid running onto the field, my instinct isn't to go tackle him and and, and like play, <laughs> yeah, continue but playing. That's why the game. you're not elite. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's you don't why, have the killer that's, instinct. That's why I never made it <laughs> in murder ball. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, to your point, he just knocked him down. Like he just pushed him. Yeah, and this, then his head kid, was this bleeding. Kid gets up and we he, thought he was dead for a second. This kid gets up and he looks like he's he was beat up more than Skarsgård was the, <laughs> the whole movie, and this guy was getting tortured. And I was like, what, what happened? Did I miss something? Did he, he did he hit the ball into his head? He was getting the straight like Jesus torture yeah. at one point. Yeah, like I was like, oh, we're watching The Passion right now. Yeah, that was also another uncomfortable scene. I was like, man, this is you guys are going pretty far here. Yeah, it was more uncomfortable than the the nude fighting in the volcano somehow yeah I, I had been warned about the nude fighting i think they must have turned up the contrast or something turned up the shadows because i heard you saw a lot of penises and i saw none i, I didn't scene. see any so yeah i think somebody complained and then they're like yeah i guess we can wrap it up here any final thoughts before see it see the movie see um it. don't like i don't want to tell you what expectations to have um I mean, Don't expect but, movie of the year because that's what yeah. I did. And also, it was the wrong expectation to have. If you if you if you're watching this at this point, I mean, you have you're gonna Before have you expectations. Probably, yeah. Either yeah, I liked it. It was cool. Uh, it, it I feel like um, like it's like a tier below Revenant. Yeah. Um, yeah. And in the, but in that same genre of movie. Right. It, yeah. And I think the the appeal of it is to have. Uh, we've had tons of these revenge movies, but I don't know of any that have been within, like, Viking lore. So there's cool to, like, we're seeing some of the Norse mythology. They get into the spiritism mm -hmm. of that. You've got a couple of cool imagery shots in there. And then, of course, you've got witches and stuff. So it's like, there's interesting tidbits in there to make it different. Yeah. And that's what I said. Like, there was enough there to keep me, you know, still invested a little bit. Um... And also, like, the, the the fighting, as cheesy as it is, it was fun. I yeah. mean, the volcano scene was cool. Um, catching the spear and throwing it back, as stupid as it was, it was fun. I mean, of course. Yeah. But we see that in the trailer, so we kind of know what we're yeah. getting ourselves into. Yeah. <laughs> you want to latch that down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, so you gotta it, keep that in the video. Just <laughs> us just looking to the left. Something happened interesting over there, guys. Just don't worry about it. But yeah, so it's like if this is your type of movie, I could see this being somebody's favorite movie. Yeah, uh, if it's not though, it's if you don't like the revenge, gory movies, um, overly stylized violence and stuff like that, I think you'll still be able to enjoy it because it does have expert craftsmanship in it. Um, it's just, if that's not your type of thing, it'll be kind of like how we feel about it, which is like, we can appreciate it, but we're done with it and we're going to move on. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like I said, I'd give it like a seven uh, for me, for my personal taste, like a six, but objectively more of a seven, seven and a half. So, yeah. expect that. Like I said, unfortunately, you can't really expect movie of the year, which unfortunately now for the past two, The Witch got my expectations up so high that like, and the trailer for Lighthouse, that these past two movies I've come in expecting so much. And I won't say that I was like really let down, but I just... I think I set the bar too high too soon for mm -hmm. Eggers, which I mean he's still very good, obviously as a yeah. director. But I, I I prefer Ari Aster. Yeah. To, to Eggers, even though Ari Aster, like I said earlier, makes me feel well, very weird yeah. and um, uncomfortable with everything. Well, so so does Eggers normally. Like I mean, Lighthouse made me feel so uncomfortable. Uh, I mean, The Witch made me feel uncomfortable too. But like this didn't. It didn't have that same. Type yeah, of not movie. at all. Not so, at all. Um, if you're a huge fanboy of Eggers, you'll still enjoy it, but don't expect the same stylization because it's definitely different. So to me, that was a bit of a letdown. But at the same time, I'm glad to see him not just do a one note mm -hmm. thing for his whole career because that's always a shame too. But yeah. yeah, that's what we had to think. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like and comment what you guys thought about it if you saw it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.